staying together is often a theme for a successful team. It also has helped a couple of brewers create a very strong bond. Brandon Cruz goes beyond the game from Phoenix tonight. It's easy to stay connected with people. Maybe you do it through a postcard, something like this. It is a theme for the Brewers year in and year out, and that's the same case here in 2023. And for a couple of players, they stay connected in the offseason in a much different way. Well, honestly, it wasn't anything too crazy. We just hung out regular offseason and um, had a good time. Like most offseason, Christian Yelich went back to Southern California to decompress and get away from the game. We definitely weren't thinking about baseball. You know, put it on a shelf for a couple couple weeks, uh, figure out you know what happened last off se or last season, um, and kind of just you know just be a person. What was different this past offseason? Mike Brasso was Yelich's roommate. There's been a few times that he's kind of let me know, you know, clean up the dishes or something. Chores aside, the two who had grown close during the season found their time together off the field even more valuable. I'm just enjoying, enjoying the offseason and um, just being friends. Uh, you know, I don't know how that translates into the season at all or anything like that. It's just, um, you know, you become friends with guys that you spend a lot of time with. I think we always had a really good connection. Um, I think we kind of just... We're very similar minded, um, both easygoing guys and, and kind of just go with the flow. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, it, yeah, you kind of have to you, you live with somebody for three months or, you know, and you go on these experiences. It's, uh, it, it brings a relationship closer. Uh, super grateful for that. The three months in Southern California were big for Brasso as he had never spent much time there. I loved every second of it. Um, I think the I mean the weather overall was huge. I think just being from Indiana in, in the off season, it's a little bit it's a little bit different, right? So um, yeah, I, I th we're gonna go weather uh, weather and, and the cuisine was good. The food was fantastic. So those are two uh, memorable parts of it. You know, me and Mike had a good off season for sure. The memories created a bigger bond that will positively affect them in the clubhouse. I think he's uh, obviously one of my better friends, um, you know, out there. So yeah, definitely. Uh, Definitely happy to have him as a locker mate, for sure, too. And on the field. I think we can kind of just, you know, build off each other, bounce ideas freely off each other. There's no, um, you know, trying to hold back words like, you know, save someone's feelings or something. Like, he's going to he's gonna get on guys when, you know, he sees something that needs to change. And if I'm one of those guys, and you know, I don't think there's going to be any hesitation. It's a connection that looks only to grow stronger in 2023. I think it's just an easy relationship to where, you know, he's my brother and he knows that, you know, he's going to want the best for me. I want the best for him. And if there needs to, there's something that needs to be said, then there's no love lost. It's uh, it's it's realizing that, you know, it's appreciation for the other guy and, and wanting the best. For him. From American Family Fields of Phoenix, Brandon Cruz, Fox 6 Sports. And these two are hoping that the next offseason starts much later than the last one did. And who knows? Maybe Brasso will go back to Southern California instead of his home state of Indiana, where apparently the food isn't as good and the weather isn't as good. He really dug L.A., it sounds like. All right. Yeah.